Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Design with Ruzbe. Continuing with CSWA practice problems, today we'll work on question 3.5. Let's take a look at this question. So in this question, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. Like always, we need to ensure we are using the same unit of measurement in SOLIDWORKS setting. In this question, as you can see, we have the 3D model, we have the front view, and we have the right view. My preference is to focus on the front view, make a 2D sketch. As you can see here, we have the 2D sketch, so we can make this, and then we are going to use extruded bus feature to make the 3D model. With this introduction, let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and start modeling this part. In SOLIDWORKS, first thing first, we need to check unit of measurement. And you can see here in the right corner that we have millimeter gram second, which is a correct unit of measurement. So we are good to go. Now, in order to model the part, I'm going to click on the sketch tab. And then from here, I'm going to click on the sketch command. And here, I'm going to choose front plane. Now, in this part, I'm going to draw a 2D sketch. And to do this, I'm going to draw three circles. Let's click on circle command. And then here, I have one circle for the center and one large circle. Now, according to the question, we know that the diameter of the large circle is 115 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension and this diameter is 115. Also, the diameter of the inner circle is 32 millimeters. So I click on it and this is 32. Now we need another circle, but that's a construction circle. You can see in the geometry that we have a construction circle shown in the question. So let's draw that. I click on the circle. I make another circle. First of all, I'm going to change that to construction geometry. And then the diameter of this circle should be 80 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension. I click on this and this is going to be 80 millimeter. Awesome. Now, if you look at the geometry, you can see that we have some patterns in the geometry. We have three small circles and we have three notches or cutout in this geometry. So what we can do, we can model only one of them and then we can use circular pattern to create two other shapes. So let's try that. First of all, let's make a circle. And looking at the front view, you can see that we have a circle with an angle of 30 degree with respect to horizontal line. So I click on circle and I'm going to make a circle here. Now, I want to make sure that the angle between this circle and the horizontal line is 30 degrees. So I'm going to click on line command and I'm going to choose center line. Let's make one center line here and let's make second center line like this. Now I know that the angle should be 30 degrees. So I click on the smart dimension. I click on these two lines and the angle should be 30 degrees. Okay. Also, according to question, we know that the diameter of this circle should be 15 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension, I click on a circle, and this diameter should be 15 millimeter. Next step, we need to make a cutout on top of this geometry. So let's make a center line first to show a vertical line. And then after that, I'm going to click on line command and then here, I'm going to make geometry like this. Okay. First of all, we know that this geometry should be symmetric. So I click on left line, hold control, click on a center line, hold control and click on the right line. And from the options that we have here, I'm going to choose symmetric. Also looking at the question, we know that widths of this geometry should be 10 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension and this width should be 10 millimeters. And finally, the distance between the bottom point and this top point should be eight millimeters. So I click on it and this should be eight millimeters. Awesome. So now I have these two geometries shown in our 2D sketch. It's time to use circular pattern to copy these geometries. To do this, what I can do from sketch tab, go to linear sketch pattern and then click on a drop down menu. And here I'm going to choose circular sketch pattern. 
Now here, you need to choose the circle. So it doesn't matter, you can choose one. I choose this circle. We want everything to be on a 360 degree angle. That's good. For the quantity, I want to change it to three. And here, I'm going to select this. Let's remove this one. And I'm going to select the geometries that I want to copy. I select the circle and you can see the preview here and here I'm going to select three lines these lines and now you can see the preview awesome click on OK and now you have the geometry patterned now one problem is that as I mentioned in the previous videos when we are working on a mirror command or using a linear sketch pattern circular sketch pattern most of the time you're getting underdefined geometry and to fix this issue it's really easy you can add some relationship and make it fully defined. In this case, for example, I click on the center point of the circle, hold control, click on a center uh, on this line, construction line, and then I'm going to choose coincident. I repeat this for this circle as well. Select the center point, hold control, select the construction line, and then here choose coincident. And now you can see everything is shown with a black color, which means that the, our geometry is fully defined. Okay, so now we have everything ready. The geometry is fully defined, so we can use extruded bus feature to make the final model. To do this, click on feature, click on extruded bus. And then here, first of all, you can choose the thickness. The thickness that we need, according to the question, the right view, should be 15 millimeters. So this is 15. Then I click on contour, and for the contour, I'm gonna choose this contour, okay? Click on OK, and that's it. So now you can see this is the final model. Great. So all we need to do is now to check the total volume. First, let's go back to the question and check the final answer in the question. Here you can see the total volume. The total volume is 132,122 cubic millimeters. Let's go back to SOLIDWORKS and check the total volume for our model. In SOLIDWORKS, in order to check the total volume, you can click on Evaluate tab, then you can click on Mass Properties. And then here you can see the total volume. The total volume that we have for our model is 132,122 cubic millimeters. This is showing that our modeling is correct and we have the correct answer. Okay, I think that's it for today. That's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, please leave comments down below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruzbe. Hope to see you again soon in the next videos.